Why do happy people cheat? Reasons why happy people might cheat. Cheating shatters trust and undermines relationships from the core. Various factors drive individuals to be unfaithful, with some even shifting blame onto their partners. Yet, it's particularly disheartening that even seemingly content couples fall prey to infidelity. Shouldn't happiness suffice to deter such actions? Let's delve into why even those in happy relationships may stray. 1. Feeling neglected. Experiencing neglect within a relationship frequently leads to betrayal between partners. When one feels ignored or unattended to, they may seek validation elsewhere, ultimately resorting to infidelity. The allure of someone else's attention can swiftly draw them away from their partner. 2. Different desires. Partners with mismatched libidos and divergent sexual preferences often hesitate to discuss their fantasies openly. Consequently, when they cannot satisfy each other's sexual desires, they seek fulfillment elsewhere, even while remaining deeply in love. 3. Thrills. Content individuals seek avenues to satisfy their craving for excitement in their lives. They continually seek thrill amidst the routine, with infidelity sometimes providing a rush of adrenaline they seek. 4. Lack of clarity. In situations where individuals feel uncertain about their relationships, they often seek guidance from others. Unfortunately, this can take a negative turn, as some believe that cheating on their partner with someone else will help them appreciate their partner's value. This distorted mindset is not uncommon and occurs frequently. 5. Indecisiveness. When individuals in budding relationships or experiencing newfound love are uncertain about their desires, they may resort to cheating amidst a haze of undefined emotions. This behavior doesn't necessarily disrupt their overall happiness, allowing them to betray their partners regardless of their usual disposition. These mental habits are turning you into a bitter person. Maintaining sanity and a sense of normalcy requires effort, as life's ups and downs constantly challenge our mental resilience. Our attitude toward life significantly influences our response to these challenges. Moreover, certain habits play a pivotal role in determining whether we adopt a positive or negative outlook, necessitating regular monitoring. To prevent bitterness from taking root, it's crucial to be mindful of these five mental habits. If you find yourself engaging in them, it's time to pause and reflect on your actions. 1. Unforgiving. Mistakes are a part of being human, we all stumble now and then, right? That's where your capacity to forgive comes into play. Holding on to grudges only weighs you down in the long run, as life is too fleeting to be consumed by resentment. The more you harbor ill will towards someone, the deeper you sink into negativity, and it begins to color your actions and words. If someone has wronged you, address it. Communicate or take action to prevent it from overshadowing your life. It happened, you recognize it, but dwelling on it excessively serves no purpose. 2. Overthinking and underestimating. You've stumbled once, but does that guarantee you'll stumble again? If that thought lingers in your mind, bitterness may be creeping in. Just because you've failed before doesn't mean you're destined to fail again and again. Instead, try a different approach. Don't underestimate your ability to overcome challenges. Let your positivity radiate. If you're always in control, how will the good surprises emerge? 3. Being hopeless. When things don't go according to plan, some people sink into a sense of hopelessness and lethargy. It's natural to feel a surge of panic, but allowing yourself to succumb to hopelessness is a grave error. When you feel hopeless, negativity permeates your thoughts and conversations, becoming a destructive habit that manifests on your face. Seek therapy, venture outside, and search for solutions, as nothing is ever completely foolproof, regardless of the circumstances. Maintaining a positive outlook is key, it's already halfway to victory. Reflect on the positives in your life, considering that many others may not even have those blessings. 4. The Standard Bar. Avoid placing unrealistic expectations on others, especially when you yourself don't meet those standards. Even if you share some similarities, it's unrealistic to expect others to be identical to you. 
they may possess different strengths and qualities. It's important to set more realistic and reasonable standards for others to prevent constant disappointment, which can be reflected on your demeanor. Negativity stemming from negative thoughts repels those around you, and incessant criticism serves no constructive purpose. Things to know before you lose your virginity. It'll be handy to know these. The significance of losing your virginity is often downplayed by many. However, when you're ready to engage in such an intimate connection, preparation is key. This involves being mentally and physically prepared, whether it's addressing potential discomfort or ensuring you have protection readily available. For some, losing their virginity marks a significant milestone, while for others, it's merely a matter of getting it over with. If you're feeling anxious about taking this step soon, there's no need to worry excessively. Here are some essential things to consider before embarking on this journey. 1. There's more to sex than what you think. Sex encompasses more than just intercourse. It includes various forms of physical intimacy such as foreplay, oral sex, and sensual touching. Virginity can be lost through activities like masturbation or when a partner stimulates you manually or orally. 2. You won't actually hear your hymen breaking. According to myths, there's a belief that you'll hear a popping sound when your hymen tears during sex. However, in reality, the hymen is a delicate tissue that tears without making any sound. Additionally, the experience of tearing the hymen can vary from person to person, with some finding it painful while others do not. Once it's done, however, pleasure is often the predominant sensation. 3. Nothing is going to change. Losing your virginity doesn't alter your appearance. In fact, you might even experience a subtle glow afterward, thanks to the exhilarating experience. Your hormones may surge, intensifying your desire for further sexual encounters. 4. It's not going to be a mess. The portrayal of first-time sex as a messy, bloody affair in movies isn't entirely accurate. While there may be some blood, it typically isn't enough to create a significant mess or stain the entire bed. It's a good idea to have some towels nearby, just in case. 5. You need to get comfortable. The higher your level of comfort, the greater the likelihood of experiencing an orgasm. Being at ease enables you to receive adequate stimulation for reaching climax. However, feeling tense during first-time sex is common, so it's important to acknowledge that you may not achieve orgasm, and that's perfectly okay. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.